welcome back from your break. I'm now going to be dealing with a question from the November 2010 paper two, question 4.3. And I believe we're waiting for Agnes to call us. But indeed, don't you want to just give their numbers first? Of course. Um, anyone that wants to call in, the number is 0861-058-262. Also, don't forget, I'm chatting to you guys on Facebook. That's Facebook slash Learn Extra, and that's an X, X-T-R-A. I'm also chatting to you on Twitter, at Learn Extra. And I think we have Agnes on the phone. Agnes, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi Agnes. Ag hi. Hi. Agnes, hi. hi. <laughs> Welcome to the session. I believe you have a problem with question 4.3. Yes. So should we read through the question then we'll discuss how we're going to answer it? Yes. Right. So 4.3, we're dealing with this cough syrup box. That's what we've been dealing with and they've given us a net for the question. So 4.3 says, to ensure that the box is strong enough, the cardboard used for the box has a mass of 240 grams per meter squared. And they tell you it's grams per meter squared. They've given us the layout of the cardboard box. Okay, so that is the actual box and then they've given us a nice neat drawing with A, B, C's in it. And then they give us all the formulas. In fact, all the formulas that we needed for this question are in 4.1, but what they have told us here is that section C is a semicircle, so we know that's a semicircle. The area of each section D, that is each one of those sections, is 1,832 1, millimeters squared. And the area for section E is 2,855 millimeters squared. Right. So let's read the question, Agnes. The question says, calculate the total mass of the cardboard needed for one box to the nearest gram. Now, how are, we going to, uh, how are we going to start calculating this, Agnes? Well, I think we're going to start telling the... Like, I can't get it. Can you hear Agnes? Oh, Agnes, Could what was that? No, like, I can't get it. Like, I don't understand this. Like, anyway. You don't understand the question at yes. all. Okay, yes. so Agnes, let me help you. What we have is we need to work out the mass. And we know that the mass is 240 grams per meter squared. So what it's telling me is that I need to calculate the area of the box. And I need my answer in meter squared. That's going to be my first step to getting my 11 marks for this question. Mm -hmm. Agnes, do you follow that? Yes. Okay, so I want to go back to the question no, before we go back, it told us in 4.1 or 4.2, it gave us the formula for calculating the area of this box. But what we basically need to do is calculate the area of each individual section. So we're going to calculate section A, section B, section C, and then we're going to add it all together and work out the area of the box in meters squared. So, okay, let's start with that. Let's look at our thing. Our area of A... We have calculated in 4.2, we calculated that that was um, 60.9 millimeters. And we know that the length of the box was 143 millimeters. Those were facts that were given to us and we calculated in 4.2. So the area, I'm going to split it into each section. The area of A is my length times my breadth. Remember, I told you to always write in the formula. Indy, mm. if you told them. I did. I told them, and I have like 23 comments. I said, um, I said, Haley's tip for maths literacy is always write down the formula. Um, do you want me to read one or two quickly? Let's read one or two Super quickly. quick. Um, let me have a look. They'd say, Nadine said, hey, thanks so much for helping me with my paper one. I really appreciate it. Um, but now we need help with paper two. Um, I must, must I study the same stuff as paper one, but just more in depth? But like everyone just keeps saying, thank you so much for that tip. Like, okay, and no, a lot of them do it. I'm glad that I've helped. And yes, you're studying the same stuff as paper one, but in a lot more depth, it's mm. going to be a lot harder. So let's carry on with our question. So we've got our area is our, of A is length times breadth. So our length we had calculated was, well, we had been given to us, was 143 millimeters. And our breadth we calculated in 
4.2 and let's use our calculator to get an answer for that so it was 143 times by 60.9 are you with me Agnes yes I am okay so that is 8708,7, and let's write that in so we've got our answer I'm going to change color for the answer so it'll stand out at a later stage so we've got 8708 comma seven and remember that was millimeters squared I'm only going to convert to meters at the end of my questions remember I said to you I need meters right let's do let's go back to pink and let's do area of B area of B is now let's look at the shape B B was the bottom of my box so the it actually doesn't look like a square here but it is 60 comma 9 and it is square, so 60,9 millimeters. So my area of a box is my length squared. And that's the area of a square. So we're going to do that calculation. Um, area of B, 60,9 squared. Um, let's do that on the calculator. I'm going to that. Right, where's my calculator? Are you happy that it's 60,9 squared? Yes. Okay, so 60 comma 9 squared, and we get an answer of 3708 comma 81. Okay, let's write that in, and I'm going to change color again. So my answer to that was 3708 comma 81 millimeters squared. I'm not rounding off anything until the very end. So let's do, what, what's our next shape? Agnes? And we're going to work C. out C. Okay. okay, what do we know about C? We know that C is a semicircle. So, form a area of a semicircle. Well, an area of a circle is pi r squared. Let me go back. Oh, I've been doing okay. Pi r squared. But I want a semicircle which is half of that. So, what am I going to do, Agnes? Sorry? If I'm calculating the area of a full circle and C is only a semicircle, it's half a circle, what am I going to do with my formula? Uh, like it's, it's 58 divided by 2. I'm going to divide it by 2. So I'm going to work out my formula and I'm going to divide it by 2. That's perfect. So what I'm going to do is, that is I'm going to, my, my pi is 3,14 and then my First of all, I need my radius. So uh, C is 58 divided by 2. 50, not 58. Remember, we calculated it as 60, 9. Okay. It was your 58 plus the 5% that we did in question 4.2. So we can, okay. So 60, 9 divided by 2 is going to give me my radius. Let's do that on the side here. 6 divided by 2 is going to give me my radius. 35. Okay, so I'm going to times that by my radius, which we said was 60 comma 9 divided by 2. I'm going to square that. In fact, let's calculate that to make it less complicated. So 60 comma 9 divided by 2, and we get an answer of 30 comma 45. Let's rather put in 30 comma 45 here. Right, 30, we need a pen for that. 30 comma 45 squared and I'm going to divide the whole thing by two because I've got a semicircle. Hmm. So, okay, so let's do that calculation and I need a calculator for that. So I've got my pi is 3 comma 1 4 times by 30 comma 4 5 squared and press equals now and then divide it by two. And I'm not going to round this off, I'm going to actually keep, well, no let's round it off to one decimal place. So I've got 1 4 1,455,71. One I know Peter's just explained to you how to round off, so hopefully you all get that right. Yes, I did. Okay, so that answer is, need a pen again. Let's do, change the color, because that's an answer. 1,455,71 millimeters squared. And then the area of D was given to us. So I'm going to put D in here. The area of D was given to us in the question was 1832 <laughs> millimeters squared. Millimeter squared. Perfect, Agnes. And the area of E was also given to us. Am I right, Agnes? Yes. 
was 2855 millimeter squared. 2855 millimeter squared. Now, what are we going to do to get the whole area, Agnes? I'm going to add all the um, paprika. Did you hear what Agnes said, Indy? No. Repeat. We are going to add all of them We're together. We're going to yes. add all of them together. But Agnes, remember they gave you a formula that kind of looked really strange at the beginning of this question, beginning of question four. They gave you a formula. I'm going to put that into pink. They gave you a formula that said the area of the box was 4A plus D plus 2, open bracket, B plus C plus E. Can you see that at the beginning of the question? Yes, I see. That's the formula we're now going to substitute everything that we've got into. So yes. we've calculated A. We've calculated B. We've calculated everything. We're going to substitute it in. So what looked like a really complicated calculation and a really complicated sum, now that we were, we've worked out the area of each individual section, it's actually not that complicated anymore. So another tip for your kids is tell them to break down the question. Yeah, it's exactly like Peter was saying with the big elephant and taking little bites out of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I think, I think what's happened is, I mean, there's quite a few people on the page. I know Lisa said, you know, this question is quite challenging. Um, Kombuzo also said, yeah, it's, you know, it's really hard. But I think it is breaking, taking it. Taking it and breaking it down into little bite-sized pieces. And yeah. before you know it, you've answered the question and you've got yeah. exactly what they want. I think they get scared. I they all question. Yeah. No? Ag Agnes, are you there? So should we now yeah, enter all question. these? Okay. Like, when I'm doing the question, I, I must do a board math first. Do a, I must add in the bracket first. Like, that is right. Okay. I'm struggling to hear. I'm struggling to uh, hear uh, Agnes. Uh, she asked if you, she must do bot mass. Uh, Agnes, you always need to do bot mass. But what the wonderful thing is, is your calculator will do this all for you. Okay. So your calcul you can you can type it into your calculator exactly the way it is in the question paper, and your okay. calculator will do bot mass. Okay. Okay. So let's do that. So let's now fill in the numbers. So we've got okay. Let's try with a different color pen. We've got four, and we're going to open the brackets now. What was a? A was eight seven o eight, eight seven o eight comma seven, plus d. Where with oh there's D one eight three two close the bracket now I've got plus my two and what was B B's area was three seven oh eight point eight one so three seven oh eight point eight one plus C where we calculated C C was that answer over there one four five five Point seven one. Close the bracket. Plus e. I need a little bit more space here. Plus e. E was two eight five five. And I've got that all in. And what I've done, I've left out the units. I've left out the units because sometimes indeed the units confuse the learners. Yeah. So I've left out the units in this complicated question, and I will remember to put it into the answer. So Agnes, are you happy with this calculation? I've got you. So should we do this on the calculator, Agnes? Have you got a calculator there with you? Can you do it with me? Yes. Okay, so we've got four and we're going to open brackets. We're going to do it exactly like it is in the, in the text. So I've got 8708.7. And I'm going to be very careful when I answer, when I type it into the calculator, make sure that you're actually typing in exactly what is in your exam paper, well, what you have written, what you've calculated. Try not make a mistake just by typing the incorrect number. So I'm checking as I go. So 8708.7 plus D, and D we said was 1832. Close the bracket. And I'm going to say plus 2 and open my bracket. What have we got? 2 was 37. 8 comma 81 plus now we're looking for the last what, what are we looking for now we're looking for C which was 1455.71 close the bracket and lastly we're going to add E which was 2855 and I'm going to press equals and I get my answer 
of 55346.84. And this is where I'm going to add my units. Okay, so let's put our answer in. Okay, what was that answer? It was 55346.84. Five, three, four, three, four, six, comma, eighty. Eighty-four or eighty-six? Did you say? Did you say eighty? Eighty-four. Okay. No. And what were our units? Our units were millimeters Millimeter. squared. But now we've worked out our area. That was the first part of our question. But the question wants us to work out the mass of the cardboard needed. So I need to use this fact that it's two hundred and forty grams per meter squared. So let's write that in. So I need to use the fact that it was 240 grams per meter squared. So we're looking for the mass in grams. I've got a problem with my millimeter squared because my answer needs to be multiplied by meter squared. So I'm going to need to convert this to meter squared. So how we do we convert this, Agnes? Let's rewrite this number. 55346.84 five, millimeters squared. How many millimeters in a meter, Agnes? I think we should give. Mm -hmm. Millimeters in a meter? I couldn't hear her. Indy, did you hear what she was saying? No. Okay. I don't know why, but it's a bit fuzzy on this end, but we'll, we'll, we'll get through it. Okay, we, Agnes, we're struggling to hear you. So my question was, how many millimeters in a meter? And I'm going to tell you that there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter and 100 centimeters in a meter. So there are 1,000 millimeters is one meter. And now I'm dealing with millimeters squared. So what I need to do is I need to use the number. I'm actually dealing with millimeters squared and meters squared. So I'm going to square both those numbers. So I'm looking to convert. Now I've really lost my earpiece. I'm looking to convert with millimeters squared. So I'm going to, and to get millimeters to meters, I'm going to divide. I'm going to divide by 1,000 millimeters squared. And I can do that on my calculator. Are you happy with that, Agnes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's get our calculator out. And we're going to have got my answer already in. So I'm going to divide by a thousand squared. And I get an answer of 0, 0.055 I'm going to keep that on my calculator, but on my paper, I'm going to write that in as 0, 0.055 meters squared. Are you happy Agnes? Yes. Now we know that there's 240 grams per meter squared. So how am I going to work out? Okay, let's, let, let's write that again. We've got 240 grams per meter squared. So that's for one meter squared. But now I have 0, 0.055 meters squared. I want to know how many grams is that going to be? So what I need to do is I need to multiply my 240 by 0, 0.05. Does that make sense, Agnes? Yes. So I'm going to take my answer, which was my 0, and I'm going to times that by 240. So let's do that on our calculator. Now, this is the important, important point. Don't round off your calculator until the very end because your calculator can keep all these decimal places and then we can just take our answer which is already on the calculator and multiply by 240. So we're going to times that by 240 and we get an answer of 13,28. Agnes, what is that answer? 13,28 what? 13,28? Grams. We're working out the mass. Okay. So Agnes, that has answered our question. The question said calculate the total mass of the cardboard. So we actually have the answer. 
Fantastic. And I know um, a whole bunch of you have been wanting to know about this question. So there it is. It has been answered. And I think we're going to go to a break now. And Peter will be back next. And I think we'll be tackling a few questions that have to do with interest and um, Le Corner's question, I think. But <laughs> yeah, maybe before we go off, we was just give them the telephone number once more. Now yeah. we'd love to hear from you. It's 86 Please give us a call. Or Facebook. Or Facebook, Facebook.com slash learn extra. So the X. X. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep doing the movement. And also chat to me on Twitter. Um, I'm chatting to a whole bunch of you guys on Twitter at the moment and having great fun. Um, that's at learn extra. Cool. See you after the break. Enjoy the break.